What's up guys, welcome back and welcome to some EMS2 and today we're going to be driving this lovely McLaren. Now this thing's got a naturally aspirated V12, it's a 3.5 litre V12, this was Ayrton Senna's 1991 car, I think it was a championship winning car, but look there's quite a bit of carbon coming on it. Now I do believe this has still got an H pattern gearbox, but so... I think this is the last year of that the, the the um not the V12 but the manual gearbox. I think this was one of the last cars. Yeah, excuse me. But we're gonna take it to the 1991 version of Silverstone. So yeah, let's get whirling. So put your sim belts on. Let's get over to Silverstone. Hey guys, the lights are off. Oh, V12 clutching in the first. Release the clutch nice and gently. Where we're starting. Starting mid pack. Now I haven't got any mods installed here, but this is the 1991. Just oh, it's hard to explain, but the way Ritza done it, the 1991 cars were the Gen 3 cars, and it's all crazy. I can't explain it while I'm driving, but anyway, the 1991 version of Silverstone, just a perfect car for this track, isn't it? But let's see, anyway, if the AI is any different without any mods installed. Whoa. Got the power there, big kick from the rear tyres, they're not up to temperature yet. I've got the soft slicks on, 14,000 RPM, 180 mile an hour. Wow. The guys, I haven't done any practice. I have drove this car before, but it was it was a few weeks ago. Whoa! I shouldn't have dropped, the, dropped it in the third there, but this feels mental. <laughs> I've just been driving the 1970s Formula Retros at the neighbourhood thing, and this thing feels nuts. It feels like an animal. He's like an absolute beast. It doesn't sound too bad neither. But we have got a mandatory pit step on as well. But look at this, this bit, this is where it's different. Coming down into the bridge, absolutely flat out. Little lift, throw it in. Oh, that one. Whoa, we nearly lost it there. We have got a mandatory pit stop on. Whoa, simmer down, Barnet. Absolutely on it here. Like on the on the raggedy edge. Like I need to simmer down. Like I don't know if I can even keep up. Little lock up actually there, like right, got 15 laps, so there's no rush. I just want to feel it out, but cause quite a bit of oversteer at the minute. But that could be due to tyre temperature. I think the pits is they on the right. I think they are. I've never done a pit stop at this track yet, so yeah, but this is the first attempt. Oh, I went way too wide, lost it. Had to get dropped back in the third into Magaton Beckett's. Gonna have to be committed through here. Peg it back. The curbs are huge as well, so you can't really use the curbs. Right, put it down in a second. Oh, oh, big kick from the rear. Look at that. I'm actually having, I'm struggling to keep up with the AI. Oh, we've got them all over at the back. Six speed H pattern gearbox. Right. This is the problem when I don't do any practice in it, because it takes us half the race really to really get a good feel for the balance of the car. but. I'll tell you one thing, it feels beautiful to drive this thing. Out of all of the eight and centers cars that came in that update, I do feel, I think this is my favorite one to drive. That V12, come on, who, how are you, man? If you don't love a naturally aspirated V12, who, like, who doesn't? Like, they're just great engine, I'm gonna have to lift out of it here. Oh, wow, that's so dangerous, that, man. That is, no wonder they changed that corner and away, it's just, just got to be so committed right it's ve very easy to light them rear tires up though but i think that's just down to us driving that formula retro before i just need to get a feel for coming back on the there that was better nice and smooth on the power You've got to be smooth all the inputs need to be smooth right and i need to sort the pit stops out as well and the cops down to fourth oh just caught every other car there before it stepped out but be careful sometimes you get like a little bit of snap over steer once it goes one way, then quickly the other, you, you lose it. I get some Beckett's. But it's <clears throat> the hardest thing about this track is is the curbs, because I'm so used to using the curbs. I keep forgetting the downshift as well. <laughs> Bloody hell, Barnet, pull yourself together into six. I'm trying my best. Huh? Yeah, guys, I really am. I can normally race good at this track as well, but not this one, like the 2001 version of Silverstone. I'm better at the curbs are a little bit flatter there, you can actually use them. Right, hold on the brakes, don't, don't the second gear. Right, it's quite tricky to get on the power here, there, look, you can see. 
Right, nice and gentle feed it, feed it. Now we're flat and then she in the fourth. We're pulling away a tiny bit from the I love this bit, look at this though. Just absolutely flat out. Do not lift at all. But I'm going to drop it back into the fifth here just to be. Like, that feels a lot safer. You can't just yeet it in in six. Sixth. But maybe if you put a bit more downforce on the front of the car or on the car altogether, you could go flat out through there pretty easily, I think. Right, let's just leave it in second. Feed it in. Look for the pitch. Let's look. I think the pit. There, that's. There's the pit stops on the right there. The, that's, so that's all right. At least we know where the pits are now. In the fifth. It's just pretty much the same as the 2001 version, actually. The only difference is that, that bit before you go through bridge and the curbs are just huge. Right then, I hope, yeah, we've got enough fuel in as well. Right then, maggots and beckets. Take it back in the fourth, and I'm going to want third. Remember to get third nice and early this time. Let's try second, feed it, feed it. Short shift into third there, that was much better that. Into fifth, try and get a little bit of a slipstream. Into six. Flat out. Look at that number, so it's quick, really quick car, isn't it? 180 mile an hour before you can bloody blink. Right, up, right, nice. Oh, oh, oh. look at that one, just feeding that throttle in. I can feel the, the back end of the car just wanting to step out, but it's just so manageable on the power. Like, you can really like manage the slip control of the car with the throttle. Nice and, like, you've got to be patient on that bit as well. Right here, right here, well, flat out. Into six, absolutely flat chat. Whoa, and I'm gonna peg it back into fifth for bridge. Oh, what a corner that is, man. It, I prefer this version of the track, though. This layout, anyway. I much prefer this layout to the modern day version. Oh, nice bit of control there from the car. Can we get up the inside? Is it gonna leave the gap open? Nah, we just weren't close enough. Oh, come on. Oh, it just. I thought he was just going to leave the door open just for that tiny bit, but there's no room to get through, is there? Right, in the cops. And I'm going to drop back in the fourth. Right, there, oh. Quite a bit of understeer starting to build up there, actually, in the fifth. I do feel like we're getting a little bit faster, aren't we? Like, I'm getting a little bit of a better feel now for the car. Right. And if we do this on my first attempt, I'll be... I'll be pretty amazed. I, there, I forgot to drop it into third again. <laughs> then it just caught a snap. That was my fault, that. That was totally on me. I keep forgetting to knock it down into third for some reason. Right, one, two, three, into third. How oh, about it? Just remember your gears. <laughs> I'm just trying to concentrate on keeping the car on the road that much. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting the, the shift. Oh, big lock up. You don't want to be doing that in these cars because you just lose all your grip from your tie weight and if you get a flat spot you're pretty much knackered like you're pretty much done I'm, I don't think I think we've just got away with that one there we nearly got a big flat spot though we're gonna have to do the pit we're gonna set set the pit stops up this is gonna be quite hard there's, there's no like long straights where I can do it I'm gonna have to next time when we're coming on hang a straight I'm gonna try and do it then oh listen to that engine we will have it good listen to the engine later as well We're much quicker than the AI through this last sector as well can I get up the inside oh on the power nicely I'm gonna have to oh this oh I need to squeeze to oh I just got on the power that little bit better but I'm gonna have to lift out of here you can't be sending up inside into there no way that's a Max Verstappen move and look what happened to him Ooh, so the bandit isn't doing that today guys ah ah right drop one third Right, I think we might need second here. Yeah, let's get second. Oh, I just clipped the curb on the inside. Right, I want to try and do do these pit stops. Damage. Off. Slick B will do. I don't know slick. Slick B is a soft tyre. I don't know what's what, but that'll do. Slick B will do. Right, then feed that power in. See, I should have locked it into third there, but never mind. I can't knock this off at the minute either. Don't, down to second gear, a little lock up again. Oh, I don't want to be doing that too much. Oh, big kick from the rear. There it's went off. In the third, a little bit of a short shift in the fourth. In the fifth, absolutely flat. Look at this, man. The speeds for rear. This is where it's changed, isn't it, from the 2001 version. Just so fast. You've got to be so committed to <laughs> going into there. But imagine what your neck must have felt like. Must have felt like your neck was going to come off your head, wasn't it? 
Anyway, we've got the pit stop sorted now. I think we'll pit in a couple of laps actually. Might do one more lap and then we'll pit. Let's see if we can actually do an undercut on these. Anyway, up the inside again, same as before. Can we hold it this time though? Oh my god, he's on the outside. What can we do? Have we done him? Where is he? We've done him. Haha! <laughs> yes, come on. What a move. No, he's not. He's still there on the inside, I think. Is he there? He was there. <laughs> he was still there on the outside. We had a tiny bit of contact. I think that was my fault though. I thought he was further back than that. Sorry, mate. I do apologise, young sir. <laughs> Never mind, we've got the move done anyway. No harm done, he's still on the track. He's all over the battle, actually. Right, after this lap, we'll do one more and we'll tell the guys that we're coming in. And we'll try and do a bit of an undercut. Blip that throttle. Because if we've got a little bit of clear track ahead, we might be able to put some pretty quick laps in, mightn't we? Because, oh, pretty quick. Can I get up the inside? Oh, thinking about it. Really thinking about it. I've got the tyre weight on accelerated. Maybe I should have put it on times four. Just to spice it up a little bit more, but... No, oh, yeah. It seems like it's getting a bit dark. I hope it doesn't rain. I've got, I've got the um, the weather on uh, random, so it could rain. Oh, looks like it's going to rain, doesn't it? Oh, no. That, that'll be really change it up if it does. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Right then. Right Oh, big lock up again. Big stutter as well. It doesn't seem like it's as bad the stutter as what it used to be. I nearly done the same thing to this guy. Right, but, right, we're going to tell the guys that we're coming in. Right, we're coming in guys. Get your wheel guns ready. The bandit wants some fresh rub after this lap. And the cops down to fourth gear. Feel it, feel it. Nice. Oh, lovely on the power there. Lovely run. But this, oh, I'm going to have to back out of that one. There's no way to overtake there. That, that didn't look good at all, did it? Right. Down to second gear. Right, into th third, fourth. Oh, fifth. What a bloody motor. What a 757 brake horsepower from that natural ass brake. Oh, someone tip with, someone tip with, someone tip with. What are you doing, mate? How air that was thing? What? Did it? That, that was a bit aggressive, right? But maybe it's my fault for lifting out the power. I should have been checking my mirrors more than what I was. That's my fault. But he's got my back, hasn't he? So I suppose we deserve that. <laughs> he maybe thought, yeah, what, what were you doing before? So he was probably angry at me, wasn't he? Ha ha ha! Come on! What a belter that was. What about Ah, come on! In the, in the bridge. Lift out of it. Fifth gear, then I'm going to... Flip it back in the third. We're coming in this lap anyway. Or should we go one more? Ah, oh, I don't know what... Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's go one more. What the hell? We'll go one more. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go one more because we've got a little bit of wheel to wheel action here, haven't we? Let's see if we can get past on track. And then if, if, we, if we don't get past, hopefully we might be able to do an undercut. Nice and committed into cops, that was lovely. Back on the power, we got on the power so much better than the EI there. Up the inside of him. And the maggots and beckets, but he's gonna have to leave room on the inside. Couldn't I couldn't make that one stick. Because that had disaster written all over it, right? Short shift into third, I had to catch the big wiggle from the rear, I had to catch the car. We've got to have cat like reactions in these cars, let mind, I will say that. Right then flat out. Oh, on the brakes. Probably can break a little bit later than that, but down to third, really just roll it in, roll on the power. The key to being fast in these cars is all about being smooth. Every every input your steering needs to be smooth. It's all about your throttle control, it's so important. Hey, look, when I just got on the power, a little bit too eager there in the back, come out, but there I was smooth on the final part of the corner, and it was just so much better. Oh, yes. Oh, I really feel the force feedback loading up there. Someone up the inside of again. Whoa, what? I keep, I'm, I'm not checking my mirrors enough, am I? Anyway, we're coming in here, guys. But we've just had major contact there. But I think it's all down to me not being aware of what's around, of who's around us. So that's my fault. Right, we're coming in. I need to get ready to... Oh, so is he. Oh, my God. Battle of the pit stops. Ah, oh, I've never picked here before, so I don't know. I don't know how it goes, right? Pit, 
I think I've just sped anyway, but never mind. Oh, I'll have a little breather. <laughs> I need to stop on my marks to get the pit stop nice and quick. Is anyone else coming in? No, no, no. Come on, we need a good pit stop here, lads. How are you? Nice and committed. Oh, no, he's just went. Oh, how are you, man? What are you doing? Oh, that wasn't too bad. Come on, nice quick stop. Remember, this is the 90s. Look at the stop he got. That was so much better. Right into first. I forgot. I should have put the clutch in, held into first. That's new. You could you could just used to leave it in first gear and it would stay in it for you, but it put it in the new. Sorry. Oh, what an idiot. Oh, my God. So much for the undercut. I've just bollocks that right up now. Oh, never mind. I'm going to have to get on it here then. Get a couple of fast out laps in. Oh, nice sounds from the engine. In a couple of laps, I think we'll have a couple of we'll have a couple of quiet quiet ones. But the tyres are cold. I can really tell that these tyres are really cold. I hope these are the soft tyres and not the hards, because we will lose a lot of time. There's only five laps left. So after this lap, I think we're gonna have a couple of quiet ones. Oh, whoa! Contact? Is that contact? No, it might have been. But I think it might have just been me. Right, come on. I just... God, it's so different when you've got no heat in your tyres, mind. I will say that. Right, revving it out. Into third. Nice and gently on that power. Into fourth. And fifth, we've got someone coming up from behind. We're hoping we can hold him off. But fast as, yes, we off. We want to be faster. <laughs> uh, it's funny. That we just done that, I think. Oh, that was far too slow into there. Lost a lot of time, I think, there. But look at that sideways. Look at that. Oh, you can just, you can actually slide these cars a little bit. Oh, not there, though. Blue flag. Blue flag? What are you on about? Blue flag? Really? Eh? That can it be the leader, man. Blue flag. I, I don't know what he was on about there. But anyway, guys, let's have a couple of quiet ones and give this V12 a listen. Be nudge.
and we're back. Guys, that was the leader. We actually got lapped there, but the reason why is he hadn't pit he hadn't pitted yet, had he? So oh we've got someone coming out the pits there, but haha! <laughs> we sort of kept up with the leader there, which I'm actually quite happy with. But anyway, and the maggots and better to go. Oh, wow, I went way too hot into there and again. <laughs> Second gear. Oh, catch a big kick from the rear. Let's see if we can get on the back of this this guy ahead. Hopefully his tyres haven't come up to temperature yet, so we should be able to catch him really. And we're flat out. Peg it back in the third. Nice and gently on the power. But what a great car this is, guys. I, this is my favourite car. I do I actually like the 1200 horsepower. The Lotus, the 1986 Lotus. That's a great car to drive as well. It's a toss up between this one and that for my favourite to drive. It just it feels lovely. It can actually really push this car into the corners. I really feel like I watch like here. Yeah, look how much I'm just leaning on the tyres. The force feedback just loads up brilliantly. Feels great in my hands. Right, nice and gently on the power. Look at that man. I'm sliding it into there. I'm actually like hoying it in sideways. I know that's maybe not sort of realistic. I don't know, like, I don't think you'd be doing that. For, I don't know how a 90s Formula 1 car driven, maybe you could, like, but that's just, I'm just trying to drive it on the, on its limit to the, to the best of my ability. But I am really impressed. Just look at the track selection that, that reads that do, man. I've got all the classic, I've got some great classic tracks that are just brilliant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if we can make, get this, dude. Oh, nice and gently on the power. How many laps is left? Oh, there's only two laps left. We won the half laps left. Oh, come on. What are we doing? One minute 30 lap times. I don't know if that's fast. I don't think it is. It's actually pretty slow, I think, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> We're having a blast, guys. So that's all that matters, isn't it? And come and get up the inside. Oh, just weren't close enough. Right, nice and gently on the power. Oh, look at oh, all. Let the rear tyres up a little bit there. It's so hard to get back on the power. There. It's it's much better though when you've got heat in your tyres. Anyway, in that slipstream, come as you send it into bridge. Oh, no, that's that's a bit risky, isn't it? <laughs> More for that one. <laughs> right, down to second gear. Right, nice and gently. Feed the power in. <laughs> right, feed it, feed it, feed it. And again, come and get him. Oh, a little bit of a lock up. Oh, he's come and get up the. Oh, I was trying to send it, but just wasn't close enough. Oh, and again, the AI are so slow coming out of them two corners, aren't they? Ah, oh, sounds brilliant. Anyway, up the end of the last lap, up the inside into cops. That's not a corner to overtake on, is it? It's actually quite. There's not many places you really can overtake at this track. Well, oh, not in the maggots and Beckett's camera. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave room on the outside. Oh. <laughs> I had to do that, like, there would have been a crash, I think, if I, if I didn't do that. Oh, I should have maybe knocked it into second gear there. Doesn't matter though, on the final lap of go. I mean, we're on the final lap in the slipstream, 180 mile an hour. That just went V12, Ayrton Senna's 1991 car. I do believe it was a championship winning car. I, I think it was anyway. But what a bloody car it is. That just went V12. Aiton Senna though is just a legendary driver. It's just so so good to watch him. The way he went through them gears with a manual gearbox. The way the way what I used to like, the way he leaned his head into the corners, he really <laughs> you could really see his head go you know, for the G-forces for his neck. He really put his head into them corners, didn't he? Look at that for, oh, oh wow. Right, flip it in the second maybe. Oh no. Whoa. Come get up the inside. See, I do feel like we're faster at this bit of the track, but should I dump do the dummy, sell the dummy? But look, he closed the door. There's just no way to get up. Good driving from the AI, actually. Oh, like there, we get on the power so much earlier, but then I lost the rear of the car, then he was just gone, but woohoo! Woohoo! Up the inside we go. Oh, that was just brilliant, guys. I absolutely loved that. <laughs> Come on. So then guys, what did you think about that? The 1991 McLaren, but 
fire, what was it, 757 horsepower. That engine sounds lovely, it's got, wow, it's an absolute screamer, isn't it? Look at the cars as they're going, to, I think it's a hangar straight. It's a little bit jumpy, actually, I don't know if that's my, just with me, but I think it was the heat wave, I think that's what it was supposed to be. But, like I say, we didn't have any mods installed here, because the 91 mods has all went to pot. I'm not going to get into it, it's, it's a bit hard to explain. But I really did enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed the race. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like. You know. And if you enjoy what the videos, guys, subscribe. We've got about 452 subscribers. You know, like, thank you so much to every single one of you. Just brilliant. Like, hopefully we can get some uploads going again. Like, because like I say, we have had some technical problems with the computer. But, yeah, guys, I'll leave you with another lap or so of this race. Thank you so much for watching. Good love yous and leave yous. Peace from the northeast. Toodles.